Hey YouTube and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to calculate the air to fuel ratio for gasoline which is 14.7 to 1. Now in order for us to do this in a simplified matter we need to make two assumptions. The first is gasoline being represented as pure octane which is C8H18 in its liquid form and second that we the air is comprised of 79% nitrogen and 21% oxygen which is shown here and if you're curious where this 3.76 comes from that's 79 divided by 21 so this is saying that you have 3.76 parts nitrogen and one part oxygen now when it comes to solving these equations you have to assume that you have complete combustion so what that means in this case is that everything in the products which is everything coming out of your tailpipe has to be carbon dioxide water and nitrogen so you have no excess fuel, which octane coming out, and no excess oxygen. So in order to solve this equation, we have to balance the amount of carbon on the left side of this arrow to the amount of carbon on the right side of the arrow, as well as hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. So to do that, we assume that we have the fuel, then we don't know how much oxygen or air we need to react with the octane to get complete combustion. So we have one unknown here, as well, we all know how much carbon dioxide will be coming out, water, as well as nitrogen. So in this case, we have four unknowns here. So we need four equations. So if we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, we can formulate four equations to solve for the four unknowns. So at this point, all we have to do is balance the left side of the equation to the right side of the equation. So for carbon, we have eight carbon. So we can say eight and no carbon left on the left side of this arrow. So the arrow you can replace with an equal sign here. And then we have one carbon here, which isn't shown. So you have a one times A, which will give you A. So we have A is equal to eight. Then next we move on to hydrogen. And here we have 18 on the left side. And on the right side, we have 2 times B. And then B will give us 9. And we can continue that with oxygen, where we have 2 times X is equal to 2 times A, which is 8. Plus, we have 1 times B, which B is 9. And then here we can solve for x and get x is equal to 12.5. And lastly, we'll have to solve for nitrogen. So we have 2 times 3.76 times x. So if we can go ahead and plug in all those numbers right away, 3.76 times 2 times 12.5 equals to 2 times c. And if you go ahead and solve here, we get c is equal to 47. Now once we do that, we can go ahead and replace A, B, C, and X with these values, and we get this equation. And from here, once we have the fully balanced equation, we can go ahead and start solving for the air to fuel ratio. So we have air divided by fuel. So do this, you start off with 12.5, so you have 12.5 moles of air. And then we multiply it by two molecules of oxygen times the molecular weight of oxygen. So you can look that up in the periodic table and get 16 grams per mole. And then we continue down through. So plus 3.76 for nitrogen times the two. As well, if you look up, 14 grams per mole. And that's everything for air. Down the bottom, we can go ahead and fill in what we need for the octane. So we have one in front of here, so one mole times eight for carbon, and then 12 grams per mole, plus the one mole again, times the 18 for hydrogen, and then one gram per mole. Now if we go ahead and calculate this, we'll get 1,716 grams of air 
divided by 114 grams of fuel or octane in this case. And this comes out if you divide through to about 15 to 1. So that basically means you need 15 parts air to every one part of your fuel. Or in other words, if you want to replace this with grams to make this something more familiar, that'll be about 3.783 pounds of air divided by 0 0.251 pounds of fuel. So every time, for example, your car brings in about 3.783 pounds of air, you need to inject 0.251 pounds of fuel to maintain a stoichiometric balance. So that's basically what it's saying. And to show you a real world example, I went ahead and did some data logs on my own vehicle actually. And during one point, I saw that my vehicle was operating around this air to fuel ratio. And it was intaking about 41.3 pounds per minute of air. So if we wanted to know if I continued to be in that same driving scenario for over a minute, how much fuel would we be burning? So if we don't know what the fuel is, is the unknown, we can go ahead and set this equal to each other and solve for x. And then x will come out to 2.74 pounds per minute. So that will basically tell me that if I continue that pool in one minute, I'll be burning 2.74 pounds of my fuel. Now, if you're wondering why this wasn't 14.7 and we see a 15 here, that's because of the assumptions we have to make in order to solve this equation in a simplified matter. So that's about that, guys. So if you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them down below. And let me know if you guys want to see other content. Other than that, hope you all have a good one, guys, and see you next time.